and I'm back in the kitchen standing in front of my fridge. Some of you may have seen my fridge tour or like what I eat video. What do we have over here? My leftovers, the heck? Are these Brussels sprouts? Oh no, these gotta go. Lana? If you didn't see it, don't watch it because I'm not gonna lie to you, I was literally mortified. It was a last minute thing. I was like, okay, we'll show my fridge. And then when I actually looked at it, I was like, this fridge is not a proper reflection of my organization and who I am. So that very day, I was inspired to get my act together and get my dream fridge in order. So I called in the expert, the person that literally organizes my entire house. It's my girl, Taisha, also known as the editor. And what she does is pretty much there really are people that are gifted or that just love the idea of organization. You are one of those people. Or anal, it could be either or. <laughs> I love it. I think organization, for me, definitely helps my life feel like it's running smoothly, it takes up less time. So, my girl Tasha is gonna put us on today because now we're gonna do a new reveal of my fridge and I'm gonna tell you exactly how I got it this way. This is what my fridge should have looked like the first time I opened it, no fear. That, this is what a fridge should look like at all times. I'm okay? even impressed. You, I, I know, I'm not gonna find. Tasha comes to the house, she organized it, and then she'll come here on like a random Tuesday. And I'm like, who touched that? And who didn't put it back the right way? But you've been impressed, we've kept it. They've been keeping it up. And I, once you keep it, once you organize it and you label it, it's so much easier to keep an organized fridge. Yeah, once and you start it the first time, exactly. you have a way. Like I think really it's about creating a blueprint organization and that's what we're gonna show you how we do today. So first things first when you're planning on cleaning out your fridge and starting a new organized Adrian approved life. <laughs> okay, what is the first thing you do? Empty out the entire refrigerator. Yeah, at first I was like, what do you mean? What? Yes, literally the entire refrigerator. Nothing in it. Nothing in it, every nook every cranny. And the reason why you want to do that is so that you can gut it out and actually see your refrigerator and think like, wow, I have a nice refrigerator. Yeah. Let me clean it. Let what me a concept. sanitize it. <laughs> yeah, clean it, sanitize it, make sure it's actually completely, it's like starting with a new canvas. Yes, yeah, start with a blank canvas so that you can get inspired. Once you see it empty, you'll think like, oh, what can I do in this space now? And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was so embarrassed when I looked at how many things were expired. I don't think we realize how much we accumulate in our fridges from takeout food that was like super old. Yeah. Or things that you're like, oh no, I might get back to that or I might eat that or I might use that. And then you also notice how many things you are never going to use. Exactly. That you are <laughs> never, like you're like, wait, why do I have? Exactly. Spiced. Sukang Masim? No, you use no, that No, I actually though. do use this. <laughs> this is Israel stuff over here. Yeah. But I think you will have stuff like that in your fridge. Let it go. So once I took everything out of the fridge and cleaned the refrigerator, I actually grouped everything by category. So you'll notice that these have labels, ketchup and hot sauce, sauces, barbecue, go ahead. The label machine! <laughs> Guys, I'm obsessed with my label machine. She got me one, it has different fonts. We actually had different ones the first time we did it. And then you came back and you're like, and I, I think you it. need bigger ones. These are bolder. Yeah, and more bold yeah. fonts. Israel greatly appreciates that with his eyesight. <laughs> I appreciate it because I think some people, if you are like me and you have a lot of people over your house visiting. They put things in the wrong place all the time. Yeah, no and respect. Th and that's when the OCD comes into place and you're Nobody, like, ah! Hold up, <laughs> hold up. I just saw something, wait a second. Does that say Lana's wild bear? <laughs> Lana! She's here all the time. She should feel special in the refrigerator. So Lana's favorite <laughs> H2O's flavor is wild berry. So this is her whole section right here. I get you, I feel you. We literally had somebody in the house the other day. Okay, so like this was gone. Uh, this was gone. Kinda. So someone came in the refrigerator. Wait, then... I'm curious. Okay. What would you go to grab? If this was your fridge and I said, yeah, grab an H2 Rose, no problem. Where would you go to grab? Tesla Steppen, where would you go to grab? <laughs> Comment below where you would go to grab the next H2 Rose. Thanks yes, there is a wrong they, answer. They, very wrong, actually. Go where ahead. would you go? Go for what it. What feels natural to you? 
Wrong. <laughs> yes. Please complete Why the row, people. Why would you people? do this? Complete the row. <laughs> we literally saw him. Me and Tasha looked at each other, and we were like, I didn't want to say anything because it's not my house. <laughs> Adrian's like, mm -mm. you. That's the wrong one. I was like, uh 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 uh. uh. Try that again. He was like, what do you mean? We're gonna put this. And Tasha said, finish the row. There are other things that I can't stand. Labels. Do you, do you see that all my labels are facing <laughs> forward? Don't come into my fridge and then go and do that. Why? Why would you do that? Having an organized fridge is not just because we're anal. It's because when it's organized, you have a clearer mind state. You can find what you need easily. Yeah. It makes life simpler. Another note for the labels. Mm -hmm. When you're in the grocery store, it's definitely a money saver. Labels equal money saver. Yeah. When you're in the grocery store and you're shopping, doo -doo 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 -doo, yep. so and you're true. like, oh, I need barbecue sauce. No, you don't. Because before you went grocery shopping, you looked at your fridge and you had 10 barbecue sauces no, right here. We didn't notice how <laughs> much bar, like, I think we just keep buying, buying, buying. You keep buying more and more, not recognizing what you have. So pretty much it allows you to have proper inventory exactly. of what is in your fridge. No. You don't have to wonder. Barbecue sauce, people. It's how, all there. How many barbecue sauces <laughs> can one have? Look at this, apple yeah. cider vinegar. We had doubles of that. There were doubles of mayonnaise, veganaise. There were so many doubles that we realized when cleaning out the fridge. Look how many different kinds of butter we had accumulated. It was absolutely insane. But these insane. are all different types of butter. So That's this, true. This is definitely okay to have multiples of something. A little omega-3, original, soy-free, organic. Summer's and this buttery. is Israel's butter. These are my butters. This one's Israel's. He actually likes a very specific butter. It's the kind you get in France and Paris. If you've ever been, you know there is a real difference in the butter, and I do agree. It's <laughs> pretty amazing. French butter is phenomenal. So this is Adrian and Israel, and then again, it's Adrian and Israel. You vegan know, meats. You definitely want to separate meats. your vegan from um, your meats, just because it's a little bit more sanitary. Yeah. Um, don't have things yeah. colliding, and again, yeah. you don't get confused. You've got some smart bacon, some, uh, I love a good veggie burger, smart ground beef, and then his stuff, all his bacon. He has a lot of bacon, a lot of salami, prosciutto. Yeah, like. so that's all his stuff. Then I even love, guys, how amazing does this look? Your cheeses are in one section. Then you've got your milks, of course, up top. Fun fact, I have a new favorite milk drink. I'm so obsessed, shout out to Natasha my agent, who put me onto <laughs> this drink. It's called Muala, and it's banana milk. It's so delicious, and you guys, it's only 60 calories and seven carbs, which is not bad at all. So most of the things that are on the top shelf and the bottom shelf are things that you always want to look out for because they're going to expire quicker. So always keep like your milks, your juices, um, usually on the top, and then everything else kind of on the bottom. I'm such a thrifter. I buy everything from TJ Maxx, Home Goods, um, Marshalls, like those Marshalls, kind of places. like those kind of stores. How amazing! Other stores can get a bit pricier, and if you're organizing, you need a lot of everything. So Container just store is great as well. Container store is extremely pricey. They're very pricey. However, yeah. they do have a not a discount code, but when you're like. Visit the store frequently. Oh, <laughs> the rewards have an club. They have a rewards club. They, they do? do send out like 20, 25% um, coupon codes, so they can get cheaper. Really? So I just love TJ Maxx and Home Goods. So. Okay, because I wouldn't think, when I think of TJ Maxx, I think of like, you know, clothing or getting no. stuff for this. I TJ would not Maxx think that Marshall. TJ Maxx has like they're the best egg home. holders. Yes, they're the best home to me. Really? Yes. I mean, I'm also very cheap. So no, you know I am too. So you're putting me on. <laughs> so all of my I'm clients, gonna be at TJ Maxx. Prepare yourself. So all my clients are like, oh, what's the budget for your organization tools? And I'm like, the budget is very low because I'm super cheap. So yeah. I don't Get want stuff that's you. That's affordable. Exactly. I don't want you to spend an arm and a leg. So I'm yeah. out for you. Yeah, you should make sure that you can have a super organized life at an affordable price. The so. idea of being organized is to have a clearer space, so you don't want to have this clear space and think, gosh, what does my bank account look exactly. like? Exactly. Oh, I've got the clear struggle. space and a lot of debt. Here we go. <laughs> now on this side, I love that some people don't have double doors. We do, but I love that you really decluttered our space yeah. in the sense of like, okay, these are like actual things we use to cook and that sort of thing. And then on this side, we've got drinks. And I just think aesthetically, it just looks really beautiful. 
It looks really good. Sometimes it's just that simple. Sometimes you just want something that aesthetically looks great. I am also really into protein shakes right now, and these are my favorites. I love Premier Protein. Lana actually put me onto banana, <laughs> and I'm just putting this out there. My favorite snack on a daily basis is one Quaker rice cake. I put a teaspoon of organic peanut butter. Oh, that sounds amazing. Right? With a banana shake, guys. So I literally take a bite of the peanut butter Quaker, and then I pour this in my mouth oh my gosh. and let them combine. Oh, I'm just saying. So good. That sounds really good. It's a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving right along, you guys know that I love fresh watermelon. You taught me how to cut a watermelon. I did not know what I was doing. It was a whole other struggle. So we keep fresh fruit in here. That's a great snack that you can just go to. Where is this Tupperware from? <laughs> this is actually also from TJ Maxx and it's glass. You always want to keep your leftovers in glass just because it's going to like sink in there. You don't it want lasts the chemicals. Longer. And it lasts long. We try to cut down as much as we can on the plastic use. So especially again. Especially for food. For yeah. Especially for food. You yeah. don't want that emanating there. We actually also make sure that we recycle and recycle all these plastic bottles for H2 Rose yeah. and it is reusable plastic and that's extremely important. Yeah. So we have recycling bins here and we no longer do water bottles. Oh, we have an ion water machine now. So literally, and what I love about the machine is that it tells me every single day, you've saved 386 water bottles. You've saved, and we use our mason jars and we drink out of that now. It's a lifestyle, people. It really it's is. Lifestyle. lifestyle changer. And again, glassware for your Tupperware. This is Glass Lock yep. from TJ Maxx. Yep. Freaking amazing. Same over here, leftover salads. Leftovers get put in glass Tupperwares. Now, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I did not know what these cabinets were down here for. <laughs> and my whole life, I just threw random things in there. If it was cold cuts it's or- It's not for random things, people. It has a purpose. Yeah, <laughs> what so, is the purpose? The purpose of those drawers is to help your food stay crisper and fresher. Meaning yeah. fruits, vegetables, anything that has a very small life Span. Um, exactly. Yeah. You, you want to keep there. it crisp, people. Mm -hmm. So what we have in here are the things that I cook with on a daily basis. Guys, I literally could eat peppers all day long. Like I will saute peppers, mushrooms. I know you hate mushrooms. I do. Um, <laughs> I could eat an avocado by itself. I will season this and just that eat a whole salt and pepper. Amazing. Best on a Quaker rice ever. cake, my favorite. Um, and then on a <laughs> everything on a Quaker because it's low carb. <laughs> We've got onions in here, and of course, yeah. my famous celery. Organic celery. I made sure to make a specific spot for the yeah. celery because this specific refrigerator has so much that it celery. needed its own whole section. Own Another section. cool thing about these sections of your fridge is most of us don't realize that Things, these are yeah, movable. They can move. You can move them. You literally can place them as need be can take that out if you need this to be a bigger drawer. Yeah. These dividers are really to make it more convenient for you. So you yep. can use them as need be. If you don't want any dividers and you just want one big open space, yep. remove the dividers. I love that. Did we do anything with our freezer? We did originally. However, last night we had a butter cake tasting. <laughs> Listen, we needed ice cream. It was so intense. So it's a lot of ice cream. A whole lot of ice cream. There's more over here. It's overflowing. Yeah, overflowing. <laughs> Just also putting this out there, if you are eating vegan like myself, you know that it's super hard to find vegan ice cream. Yes. But I'm just putting this out there, if you want like a healthy option that's a little bit more low carb, Hakuta Banana, it is cashew cookie dough. I'm kind of obsessed with this, you can get this at Trader Joe's. As am I, and I'm not vegan. Yeah, and you just like it. <laughs> it's just good. Yeah, it's just that good. The Pedi you have Pedialyte popsicles in here? No, there is You in absolutely. Here. They're right here. What is this? Why do you have this in here? <laughs> Ray would know. It's good for electrolytes, so if you're dehydrated or. Or I'm a goner. I, I no. need for Lana oh, to not come in. No, come in, join us. Yo, Lana's about to take over this entire part of the refrigerator. First, it starts with the Blue. H2 Rose. They're like Otter Pops. <laughs> what are Otter Pops? I've never oh, heard of that. So I've never heard of that. Blue Foray. I've never heard of that. You got this? Oh my God, this is freezing my hand. Yeah, look at that. Okay, ready? This the one you wanted? Yeah. That's the flavor you wanted? Are you hungover right now? No. Don't lie. 
Yeah, what did you do? A right? little? Okay. Your babies have diarrhea. <laughs> oh, yeah, leave this for my that. future babies, not for hungover <laughs> grown ups. Take care of yourself. Yeah, that is ridiculous. Okay, now that the secret's out. Lana keeps a section of Wildberry H2 Rose and, and Pedialyte popsicles in my fridge. The other awesome thing that I think is super cool that people should have in their fridge is, I don't know about you guys, but I love freeze frosty mugs. Does anybody yeah. remember frosty mugs? So this is everything iced down here. Yeah, this is everything iced down here, totally organized. Guys, frosty mugs are amazing. I love them. I used to put orange juice in here. Literally, automatically within like, two minutes turns yeah. my drink into a slushy. Bring yeah. them back, people. I'm a 90s kid. Like, that's this amazing. Okay. Ooh, these are dope. This is dope. Look at this. Okay, look at this. These are also at your, your local home store. Super easy to find. TJ Maxx, too? No. Yeah. Everything is at TJ Maxx. I'm telling you. Gosh, she should be a spokesperson. Okay. How perfect is that? You pour yourself a glass of whiskey, a little old-fashioned. Very impressive to your guests, I'm just saying. On to the other side. What do we have here? Oh, cauliflower this, pizza crust, empanada stuff. Yeah. This was actually the food section, but because we had a dessert night, <laughs> dessert ended up over here too. Yeah, so. yeah. Easy peasy. And more ice. That's actually just the yeah, ice machine. And ice. We have ice yeah. parties, yeah. Okay, so guys. I hope you is guys that a love it. Is that or what? <laughs> Do you love it? That is the most amazing <laughs> fridge maker ever. I love you. You guys, Aww. check out the editor. She's amazing. <laughs> I love her. She's one of my nearest and dearest friends. Stay organized. And don't forget to what? Subscribe. Subscribe. Love you guys. <laughs>